All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Steel to Stone channel. So today's gonna be something a little different. We're gonna do a standard cardboard edge retention test with a little bit of a twist. So this is the Manix 2 Lightweight in CPM Rex 45. It's a Sprint Run Spyderco released in 2020. And one of my very commonly carried EDC knives that I use all the time. I like this knife a lot. Spyderco did a really good job with the fit and finish of this. The action is excellent for a, a Mannix lightweight. You know, they're kind of hit or miss. Uh, centering's perfect. No blade play. They did a really good job with the grinds. Um, just everything about this was done really well. Um, and on top of that, the performance of this knife is excellent. The edge retention has been phenomenal for me. The way that this steel sharpens and deburrs and you know touches up and strops back and all that good stuff has been pretty phenomenal with Rex 45 and it's a steel that I really enjoy a lot. I know it, you know, a lot of people are hit or miss on Rex 45. You know, I've seen videos that say it's overhyped M4. This is my fat cat. Um, and different things. Some people just don't seem to love it. But I've always enjoyed using it. And I think it, you know, it has its certain attributes over M4 that make it a great steal in its own right. At least in my opinion. And I've been happy, happy with the performance. So what I wanted to do with this was sharpen it. And do two different cut tests so it's just going to be standard cardboard um, from Walmart the uh, small cardboard boxes that you can buy at Walmart so that's what I'm using for the test and the first one I did sharpened matching the factory angle which is close to 30 degrees inclusive 15 degrees per side and um, finished it on a 600 grit silicone carbide stone and then put a slight micro bevel on the edge with that stone and then stropped on six micron so that's the first test and that's the cutting that you'll see in the video then after I did that test I resharpened it same way 600 grit and then stropped it again on the six micron but didn't put a micro bevel on that edge so those are the two tests in this video and you guys can watch the cutting we'll come back and talk about the results but this is about 20 thousandths behind the edge, a little bit under 20 thousandths where I did the test right there in the middle of the blade. It's sitting at, it's been tested four different times. It has an average hardness of 67 and a half HRC. And micro bevels are something that I use all the time. And it's a, a way I touch up a lot of my knives with a ceramic rod or even with a just a stone I'll slightly raise the angle and put a micro bevel on the edge after a knife gets dull so I wanted to see how that affected the edge retention of a knife and what the difference would be on a knife that I carry all the time with a micro bevel and without one so you guys watch the cutting we'll come back talk about the results and go from there
about time to cut the grass, ain't it? All right, so you guys saw the cutting. 316 feet with a micro bevel. Um, 200 feet fine edge with that micro bevel. And then the second test I did, I didn't do fine edge. I just did the working edge. And I got 379 feet with no micro bevel. So, you know, roughly 60 more feet with no micro bevel. Um, seems like it made a little bit of a difference but not too bad I'm thinking that that it's not a that the micro bevel necessarily lowers your edge retention it's simply that the micro bevel is at a steeper angle than just doing you know a standard V, v bevel so this is at you know 15 degrees per side roughly so if I add a micro bevel to it then that micro bevel is going to be at 17 or 18 degrees per side or maybe a little higher. So, you know, that's definitely going to lower the edge retention just simply because it's at a steeper angle. So, those are two tests for Rex 45. Very happy with this. Very impressed with the performance. It drops back really well. It sharpens really well. It takes a killer edge. It's easy to deburr in my experience. And I like the steel a whole lot. I, I think it gets more hate than really it deserves I, i'm not exactly sure why so many testers out there are not a fan of it or they just you know don't really seem to care for it that much i've enjoyed using it and i, th I think it's a great steal and you know you can lower the angle on this and get better edge retention if i wanted to sharpen this at a really low angle put a wide bevel on there I could get even better edge retention out of it and it would be stable and slice really well even at a lower angle um, and it doesn't chip very easily which I definitely like a lot about this steel as well um, so there's definitely a lot of benefits to Rex 45 and I'm glad that Spyderco decided to do all the sprint runs that they did in Rex 45 hopefully they'll get to them all eventually and we can get every knife in Rex 45, every knife in M4, every knife in K390, uh, or all the Golden Colorado models. I think that would be fantastic. But uh, I'm definitely glad that they made, you know, the ones that they did in Rex 45. And I think that this is an excellent EDC knife for anybody to own. That's going to hold up really well for you and going to give you really good performance too. So, anyways. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, found it useful, all that good jazz. And we'll do some more tests like this, some standard cardboard cut tests, as well as some more different, you know, like adding micro bevels to different steels to see what the difference in performance would be. Um, that's something that really interests me. So hopefully you guys find it interesting as well. And thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.